and welcome back to the 100% playthrough of The Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone. Uh, we did quite a feat in the last three episodes. We finally broke into, into the Borsodi Auction House. We got Olgir his first wish completed. And now I think Geralt and us along with him deserve a bit of a break. And what better way to start off that but with some treasure hunts? We have gathered um, the report for Tinker Hunter Soldier Spy ages ago. So just to refresh our memory a little bit. The nature of Geralt's trade means finding corpses is a normal part of a day's work. This time the body was found atop an observation tower near the village of Morin. Upon closer expansion... Gerald found the man's throat has been slit and had some highly interesting papers in his pocket. Later revealed the man had been a Nilfgaardian spy. Disguised as a tinker named Christer, he had been following the movements of knights from the Despondent Order. It seems Christer had not executed ex exercised due caution, for his spy career had been cut short by a slash of a Renegard Knight's blade. The most interesting information in this letter, however, concerned the location of the considerable stash of Coin of Guard had devoted to the spying operation. So why not grab this first and then we will see Then we will see about uh Count Romilly's treasure. Majesty King Radovid is a stern ruler. Because we did buy the little jade, not it's an, it wasn't even a jade figurine. It was like a an eagle figurine, which we then dismantled, and uh, we found a will inside and a key to go along with it. I'm kind of digging Geralt's clothes, to be honest. I think they're kind of not as good. Oh, we have new moon boots, these and these trousers. But this is still uh, better than what we have on currently. So let's switch back. Also, in the vault, I think we looted an Ophiri something. Ophiri crossbow. I, it does minus one damage from our current one. King full disc mask. We can actually run around with this, that's amazing. And I think we also have... Not the jade figurine, not this. Oh, where is it? Should be in appearances. Yes, there it is, there it is. We have the infamous... Professor's Spectacles, an assassin for hire. Now, if this, if this man, hang on, hang on, I, I need to do this. If this man doesn't look snazzy in his glasses, I don't know what does. Look at him. He just screams intellect. He screams an academic person. And we'll keep the glasses, because why not? It's a stylish accessory. And we bought them for a reason. Uh, Roach? Ro Roach? Roach? Um... Oh, and now you can call the horse. So first you throw a bomb, then you call Roach. Makes sense. Go, go. It's just Geralt things, I would say. It's definitely just Geralt things. You heard. Adrian Soil's yielding pots. How's that? This is almost an all too familiar area at this point. Run! Run away! A way too familiar area. 
But the thing is, Hearts of Stone does play out in just Oxenford and nearby area, so there is pretty much nothing else to it, really. This is the Vagal Blood Estate. We need to go past the Vagal Blood Estate, and I think it's kind of close to. to another estate. Mess. Letting more villain rubbish yesterday. They scrounged up passes somehow. Now, they nick him. Not a bloke in there is not a thief. Now they'll steal the bread from our mouths. And what they don't take, they'll destroy. Barbarians. They have to take our jobs too. Oh, so judgmental. People from Valen just. just run because of the war. Even though canonically the war has ended. Don't step on me. Well, excuse you, little guy. We will do as we please. Yeah, it's the Moldavi residence, I believe. Yeah. Quite a lot of property that one. Uh, a witcher. Oh, now that's the life. Oh, 200 crowns, not bad. What? Adventure, what you say? women, passion. Hmm? Thank you, pardon? There we go. Okay, Roach, we are off to a new adventure. And um, now let's go into our quest log. Uh, treasure hunt, a dark legacy. Well, at the poor Sodi's auction, Gerald bid a not insignificant sum on a strange figurine why you ask perhaps it was that famed witcher's intuition for after dismantling the figurine Geralt found he had also become the owner of a letter and a heavy ornate key the letter he discovered was count romilly's last will and testament from it he learned treasure might be hidden in Arn scorn castle and where exactly that is not too far, actually. You can grab uh, a couple of question marks on the way. Probably this. And then just wrap it around. Ooh, wrap it around. And I think that's also it for the question marks. So we're doing pretty, pretty good. Except... Did I see right? We, for some reason, have a hidden treasure here still. I do believe one here. A hidden cache of valuable goods. So we should probably grab those at some point. Come on, Roach. As for right now, we are focusing on a dark legacy. Let's see what Count Romilly's treasure brings us okay, here we are at the farmstead we've ridden past it and um, across it and through it quite a few times now The work in your fields gets done so quickly. How is it? Raken Hollow Outpost. Well, well. I also get a nice location mark. Let's do... Ichthy does so much damage, it's not even funny. Oh, 
There we go. Dragon it nest. Need to destroy it. There was a Nagini sign somewhere around. Makes me wonder if there is a way to get inside. You know? Somewhere in this wall. We will never find out. Roach, can you come here or are you? No, you're completely blocked off. In which case. It's a freaking hollow. The residence over there. Currently not interested in. But it will be in due course. We're like supposed to go through here. Looks like it. At least we are on the right path again. This thing's a bit more easy. Go, go. We're back in this, like, I guess, abandoned village. How far do we need to go? Because this is quite far now. Hey there. Okay, we are at the dead white wood. The sounds alone are so ominous. Barnscorn Castle Ruins. Ancient Luscian. Look how much damage Igni does. It's actually mind blowing. Three Ignis and that's it. Holy cannoli. At least the wolves are easy to beat. Something must have happened here. Did we get an ancient lush and muted then? No shot. I'm immediately going into alchemy. Yes, we did. Oh, this is amazing. And we also have Doppler and Succubus. Uh, I don't think we will get that. But it's fine. Count Romilly's journal part two and a tarnished key. Last pages torn from Count Romilly's journal. He pucks upon Anastasia from Borman, a pucks upon her whole plowing house. I finally found a way to end this deadly little charade she put on. The key to unraveling the riddle lay in a dusty old tome in my library. The little vipress was marked by a lesson. That is why the monster attacked my castle. That is why only one way... There was only one way out of this situation. I snuck up while she slept and throttled her. 
She didn't even manage to peep. Now I can finally leave my castle walls. Thank the gods. The monstrosity has skirted off into oblivion along with that accursed child. That entire affair was a horrific error. I'm just glad the savings from previous missions are safely preserved in the castle treasury. I must recruit some mage, perhaps that will ensure I avoid incidents in the future. The Secret Life of Count Romilly. So it's essentially two quests in the same location. Go Wolfies! We need to search castle. It's quite dark. Porch. We have a Breakable door. Also have this. Odds and hymns. Count Romilly's Journal Part 1. Entries in chronological order. Last few pages missing, torn out. This craft has proved even more profitable than I had anticipated. Five of the last seven kidnappings ended in success. Only two of the lads had fathers too miserly to ransom their sons. Clearly was more offspring when the, where those came from, so the calculating knaves deemed the captured snots expendable. Note for the future, demand a significantly smaller ransom from clients with more than one male heir. I sent the lads after Anastasia from Borman, the lord of Zeusler Castle, is a magnificently wealthy noble and Anastasia is his only child. I smell a lucrative transaction. The lads returned with the client's daughter that very night. The girl is calm, apathetic even. Something strange is afoot in the castle surroundings. Flocks of ravens perch in the trees bordering the courtyard. This morning a new contingent flew in. Two serving mates have gone missing. Could my lads have been responsible or did those ravens peck them to death? Here a giant ink blot covers half the page. One of my grooms has died. From what a, from what the remaining servants recount, he was killed by tree roots that suddenly thrust straight out of the ground. My men are petrified. Wolves howl day and night in the land surrounding the estate. Leaving the castle walls means certain death. We have barricaded ourselves inside and live as if under siege. Luckily, we've ample supplies of food and water. Perhaps this is some kind of curse? Franz, the servant who led the unit that kidnapped Anastasia, has hanged himself. Black magic is surely at work. It must be searched. Uh, I must search the castle library for some indication what this might be. Well, we've unlocked this little chest and found out the secret life of Count Romilly. However, there's this little thing called a breakable door. Great. Never a good sign. Oh, right, uh, they, they are not affected by... by Ard. Not affected by Ard. But it's fine. Ransom letter. Should I write Honorable Raphael 
von Bormann, Lord of Zutler Castle. We wish to reassure you, my dear sir, that your daughter is in the flower of good health. She will continue to enjoy said health, provided her father acts according to our instructions. E. They are as follows. In six days, at the exact stroke of midnight, you, sir, are to present yourself in person outside the cursed chapel near Brunwick in order to hand over a ransom in the amount of 1,000 unshaven Novigrad crowns. You are to sound no alarm and come alone with no guards or retainers or any sort. I trust we needn't add that any failure to follow these instructions will result in an immediate and proportionate decline in the young and beautiful lady Borman's health. My best wishes to you, sir. And I'm guessing this is the young lady Borman. Uh, lesser parents soon. Just a few bits and bits and bobbles, nothing else. Not that bountiful, but we definitely uncovered that Count Romilly wasn't exactly the nicest person in the world. Unfortunately, the creepy sounds still continue, but this location is actually bomb. In the middle of nowhere, and with the with the election gone, imagine making yourself at home here, because nobody would bother you first and foremost, because Come of on, the sounds that continue, and you Snow would just now. have free Whoa. reign to do whatever you want. Now let's see. It's over here. Like some kind of ruins, but they're close by. Okay, no, we're not going there. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> moving on. I actually go up here. This is just an abandoned house. Hold on. Show me what you got. Oh, an armed Arrakis. Ow. Can you not? Oh, what? Oh. Chill out. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Oh gee, did I just walk into this like like a headless chicken? Yes, yes I did. Oh good grief. There we go. Hey, at least there were there were more things in the chest this time. And now that we know what awaits us, we can actually go on foot, mark the location, and just uh, straight up march here. I do wonder if we can glitch ourselves up. We can. It's good to know. There's another armor, the Arrakis. We will promptly ignore this time. This is the location where we wanted to go. Doesn't change the fact that there is still an Erica's there. Bulls. Guarded treasure. Hmm, Agni doesn't seem to be that useful. Herald. 
Pull up your sword. There we go. How many are there? Another one. You're just respawning or what? I got a break now. Thank you. My goodness. That would be the Arcos downstairs. Not particularly keen on making her acquaintance. And now you're an uncle, all right. New moon gauntlets, thank you very much. Very convenient. Now let's oh we are kind of at the limit. Mm. Honestly though, I think these four, yeah, we, we can we can still grab those. It's no big deal. They're also very close to each other, so... Good, be good. And avoiding those things. Adele. Oh, it's the... It's the spider-infested... ...place. That we read a notice about. Oh joy. Um. Hey, okay, this this seems to work. really seems to work okay so northern wind is the way to go with these guys oh Gerald, you look so bizarre with the, with the glasses and at least they got rid of the Got rid of the spider webs. That seems very good. Be so pale if you ate onions and oil. Sure, whatever you see, buddy. Okay, one area liberated. Let's. Oh, a herbalist. Hang on, maybe. No, herbalists usually don't want to buy anything besides herbs. Okay, leaves us with these two location right next to each other I've got a monster under me bed will you help no you poor little sweetheart abandoned site and a hidden treasure Newt Kreutzmann's journal and completely ordinary key Oh goodness, Kulik Kulikov and his men are busy preparing the hunt, so I have a few moments to write up this whole incredible affair. A week back, I arrived home in Oxenford after a long journey and found I'd received a letter from my barrister. My aunt Helena had finally passed on and left all her belongings, including her hut outside Novigrad, to me. The, left, 
The letter included a copy of her will and a key to the chest in which she had stashed her savings. Remembering how my dear auntie would serve her guests only bread and water, I was sure she'd managed to save up a hefty stash of coin during her long and motherly life. I raced off in a flash to my aunt's hut to pay my respects at her grave and while there take a gander at what's in that chest. But when I got there, the hut was in ruins and the neighboring peasants were claiming a griffin had nested on my aunt's lands. So there I was, a fortune in my arm's reach and not a way to get at it. So I went back to Oxenford and raced to the alchemy, fast as my feet would take me, where I'd heard the famous Kulik Kulikov and his crew were watering their horses there after their latest adventure. We agreed terms quickly enough, he'd get a portion of what we found in the chest and set off to exterminate this plowing pest of a griffin. Now I'm sitting and watching Kalikov's lads arm the ballista, writing this all down to calm my nerves and pass the time fun's about to start. A surprise inheritance. And ghouls. So this would be the ballista in question. And the griffin I do believe we sell over there. Makes things all the more interesting. Herald, please get up there. Thank you. Oh! Oh. Bugger. Well, time to slurp on a bean. The caution once I find it. There we go. To make things a bit easier on us while we are still out adventuring. This little abandoned site is also pestered by ghouls. Given me no choice. That's one. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Oh, toxicity levels are rising. Oh, we are going to be a bit intoxicated. Area liberated. Very nice. A wolf bite my brain. Daddy will get mad if he sees me talking. Buy in or just peruse him. Selling, actually. Show me what you've got on offer. Oh my god, you didn't have enough to buy all this. No, 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 no. Don't buy anything. Desperate. I actually can't buy anything. You can buy a shirt. We have a lot of those. So long. Staring at the kids, you're scaring them. Sorry, goodness. Okay. I guess we are going for that surprise inheritance. See where it's actually gonna lead us. I think our health's declining slowly but steadily. Just uh, put down a quick save. This before facing that little thing. When and heading. Aw, bugger. Suffer. 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 
It's fine, Geralt. You're gonna be fine. Okay, so this is the little hut in question. Woo! Some florins. Yeah, well, your surprise inheritance really wasn't worth all the trouble. Okay, and where to next? I do believe we are on our last actual question mark. Uh, it's a bit of a... out of the way. So we shall invoke the help of our ever trusted roach. Move it. Come on, roach. Off we go. I'm fearfully fearfully watching the health kind of play rise and sink over and over again. A bandit camp. Oh what a day! What a lovely day! Witness me, brothers! Wizardry! And you're the last one. Nice. Small blackjack. Reconnaissance commander's notes. Pitch camp in the ruins of the observation tower as am ordered. Hope we won't have to sit here long. Margin note important. Bren lost 200 crowns to me at Gwent but has no coin on him. Need to take it out of his next share of the loot. Boring as fuck. Been sitting here eight days now and naught's happened. Besides that one green caravan which we raided, sending the merchants off running in their own unspeakables. Help to high heavens, they'll transfer us somewhere more interesting quick because here every man jack of us is near about off his nut with boredom. And at this point, I'm just praying, please don't be encumbered. Okay, you know what? I think we have... I think we have just about enough time... ...to go grab this little question mark. Since we are relatively close to... Oxenford. There's usually um chests around these circles. Come on. Nothing here though. Okay, we're moving on. Oh, we're at the at the herbalist's hut. And when you really look at it, it's really not that far. That's it, Everything's relatively close, but the map just looks absolutely massive. Please. Please don't get stuck on silly things. Somewhere here. Then kind of this way? Yeah. Locked? 
slightly bent key an unsent letter. My dear Papa, the wedding's over, it's all done. It didn't all go exactly like I had imagined as a little girl, but well, you always taught me to make the most of what I've got. We're traveling now, so I'll send this letter as soon as we arrive. I'll start with what I'm sure interests you the most, financial matters. As I'm sure you've noticed, a few crowns have gone missing from your lockbox, the cupboards, a couple silver plate slider, and your jewelry box is near as full as it once was. I took it as my dowry, no doubt much less than you have given, but had I but found myself a worthy partner, but tough, that's life. Hurt, or as you like to call him, that good-for-nothing bare arse lazy bones, is now my husband. And your daughter's precious purity, which you cared about more than her feelings, tears, or pleadings, well, it's only a memory now. We'll soon arrive at our destination. Naturally, I won't tell you where exactly that is, just in case you get it in your head to come visit. Wherever it is, know your silver will be enough to set up a nice home. That's important, because I'm expecting a child. Are you glad? I doubt it. You always said poor matches only produce mutts and scoundrels. So it's a good thing you'll never have to see this one. Your little girl, Jeanette. Dowry. Well. Oh, what the hell? Her game just, just spawned right in. You know, just spawned right in. And that's gonna be it. I'm about to say, this is probably Franz. Curses! Curses on everything! Okay, let's go back the way we came from. Make a quick stop. At the blacksmith. And maybe even if if the troops are still there. Uh the ones um the ones uh Eveline was there with on the last day doesn't look like it. They still might be there. Take it easy. Okay, you, my guy, are much closer. Welcome, welcome. What would you say to a hand or two of Gwent? Uh, not gonna try to sell me something first? My goons are not swallows. They will not flip nor flee. Cards won't either. Do you wish to split hairs all day or play Gwent, hmm? Uh, we would just like to get rid of some things. I'd like to take a look at your wares. Ah, fine. Much obliged, sir. Uh, think swords would be best to get rid of. We a hefty lot. Sell these? No. I think we can sell any of these. Oh, 21. Perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Should be going. If ever you need a partner for Gwent, you know where to find me. That we do. Okay, and now, last but Come not on, least in this episode, considering we are already on our merry way to do lots of bits and bobs, let's take the fast travel. Let's zoom all the way out, go into the Valen region, and travel to Condyle. Just to grab that one little remaining quest. That we have left. Should be through this way. Drop a quick save. 
Get off the horse. Get up. Take thee and read the crumpled letter. Yanni, come back to me, I'm begging you. Each day is more dangerous than the last. There are strange men lurking outside the house, watching me, carrying weapons. I'm afraid they know something about our stash of valuables and are waiting for a chance to rob us, or worse. I remember what you wrote earlier, that you can't abandon your post now, that they owe you back pay, that if you don't wait, the coin's gone for good. But what would you rather be, a rich widower or a poor husband? You're Halle. A plea ignored. Well, I think this guy chose to be a rich widower, poor widower, a dead widower, just just a dead guy. Probably all of it combined. Burn sweet but in the skull. Oh. So I'm guessing he became a. Guessing he became a rich widower first and then he just died. Oh boy, that's kind of sad. But that's also going to be. And for this episode, if we look at the map, I think we finally got all of the question marks. Especially those that were left unsolved. We also have this little thing, but I think it's kind of not important at all. Which means we can focus back on the Hearts of Stone DLC. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you like watching it, let me know with liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Especially if you want to stay up to date with the episodes I post, you definitely need to tickle that little bell icon to make sure you always get a notification. Other than that, uh, we are continuing our adventure. I do believe we will um we'll probably do the secondary quests next because we can sell the van row painting to the Neverdrive book merchant marcus hodgson which shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes and then without a trace we need to talk to the herbalist we met during the open sesame quest yeah there's a lot to do still in this uh dlc and if you're excited as much as i am definitely tune in and i will see you guys in the next one bye <music>